All right, sounds good. I'm just going to put this over this way. Hi, Laurent. Good to Hi. see you. Hi. Uh, so, all of you guys, how many hands you have to say you were on Google Plus? How cool is that? Do I have you in my circles? And if I don't, let's make sure that we do have each other in our circles. Um, pleasure to be here and talk with you about the new emerging platform of human media. How many of you guys have heard of human media? No hands in the room. Some hands in the room. Okay. Well, this is a new player of social, and it's powered by Google Plus Hangouts. So what I do at Veterans United, um, and what I did at KMU TV as well, is essentially develop a virtual front porch and uh, a face-to-face -face virtual front porch. So whereas, whereas Facebook and Twitter are text-based, right? It's primarily a text-based form where you comment on people's still pictures. This is a face-to-face -face form, and we call it living, breathe, breathing human media. Um, why is it a face-to-face -face form? Because it has what's called um, Google Plus Hangouts. Google Plus Hangouts are a 10-person video chat room. And what is it as well? It's a free broadcast stick for any business, for any entrepreneur. It's a global magic carpet that will take you around the world in a matter of seconds or a matter of minutes, and you can meet people from everywhere. Laurent, tell people where you're from. I am from uh, Paris and France. Okay, so he's from Paris and France. And we have some others who will be joining us here um, in a moment to share their experiences um, with Hangouts as well. So 10-person video, video chat room. People enter, um, go from all around the world. Hey, David, introduce yourself. Hi, Dave Couture, web developer. Okay, and he deals a lot with the blogger websites. I met David, I met Laurent in a Hangout. Just like you guys meet people on Facebook and Twitter, right? You meet people face to face in Hangouts. Now, m why might you say would you um, want a social network where you would be able to communicate with people face to face? Well, what we're finding is the level of engagement is far greater than any Facebook or Twitter post because you're seeing them in person. And it is like these people on the laptop are in that next room right next to you. And David, where are you from? Remind me again. What city? I'm in Western Massachusetts. Okay, so he's in Western Massachusetts. So um, also with Google Plus, uh, a lot of people when it first came out, they said it was a ghost town because they got on and they said, "Where are my friends? My friends are on, on Google Plus. Google Plus is a place where you talk to strangers. It is a virtual trade show in the middle of a crowdsourcing tool. So you have the ability to find people who share your passions." You have the ability to find people who are geeked out about human media, as these people are um, in the hangout right there. You have the ability to find journalists. You have the ability to find veterans who are also interested in your causes. And through a feature called Circles, you're able to connect with them. And hello, Martin. Tell people where you're from. I'm from Wales. Just popping in to say hi. Oh, yeah. It's very good to see you. We are talking to the Mid-Missouri Young Entrepreneurs Summit about human media and why Hangouts matter. So, just a taste. We have people from all over the world. Um, Alicia TV. Hi, Alicia TV. Hey, how's it going? Good. You want to introduce yourself and tell people where you're from? My name's Alicia TV, and I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, excellent. Um, so we're talking to this group a little bit about um, human media. So do you see where it might be considered a, a magic carpet that can take you around the world in a matter of seconds and So that's a great feature, but it's also a great feature for businesses because you know what? This Hangout streams live on YouTube. Okay? I clicked the Start Broadcast button, so right now all of these individuals and what I'm saying with you here right now is streaming live on YouTube. Google Plus is the left hand and YouTube is the right hand, right? They work together and they're interconnected in this space. So you have the ability not only to hang out with these individuals, but you as businesses have a free broadcast tower in the middle of a crowdsourcing tool with the ability to find your customers or find people who share your interests. Hey, Larry, good to see you. Tell people where you're hey, from. Sir. Hey, sir. I'm from Trini Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, so he's from Trinidad and Tobago, and he has a uh, cooking show that he does uh, via Hangouts. He has no broadcast tower, right? What does he have? He has a very powerful stick of YouTube 
that is connected with Google Plus, whereas he is able to meet um, individuals from all around the world in this space. So after you click the Start Broadcast button on your Hangout, it streams live on YouTube, and guess what else it does? Pours to your YouTube, so you don't need any fancy capturing software, live stream or Ustream account, it's all embedded right there. Um, right in, in the middle of Google Plus. So say you um, work for a home loan company, right? Because that's what I work, I work for, uh, Veterans United, and we're looking to tell stories about veterans and military members in this space. So I have the ability via this platform uh, to crowdsource individuals and members in order to not only connect with them via a text-based tweet or Facebook post, I have the ability to look in there and see that David has a fish head. David, what? My sailfish? He's frozen there. Uh, yeah, what kind of fish? A nice big sailfish behind me, right there. Yeah, I think it's a uh, marlin or something like that. But it's audio controlled. Our internet connection is a little bit slow here. Um, but it's audio controlled in that person who's speaking is automatically propelled into the big of the, of the screen. So you don't need a television production switch or anything like that. Um, the person who's talking is automatically propelled up into the blue box. All of those things for a business um, that, and these are free tools by the way. Anyone can go right now. I'll go to plus.google.com, fill out the information, and um, not only fill out the information, but make sure you fill out your, your, your profile picture and your about section. Because you are looking to connect with strangers, right? That's how we network with people that we don't know. Um, you want to make sure that that profile is filled out completely. And what do you do? You hang out uh, a lot mm. around the platform and say, well, where is everybody? You know, I post and, you know, where is everybody? Everybody is in Hangouts. What will happen is any of these individuals who don't know each other inside this Hangout, what will they do after they're done? Um, they will get a message on the profile that says, um, Alicia TV and, and David and Larry Filanillier and Laurent hung out with, and will have their profile pictures, and um, anybody has the ability to see those individuals. But if you're in a Hangout and you meet somebody who has a com common interest, or if you meet somebody who you think might be interesting to follow, you circle them. And so that is how the individuals um, find each other, is basically through that forum of, of Google+. Plus. Now, why is that important for businesses? Because we as businesses are trying to develop a closer relationship with them, right? So we have a social team that right now, most people have a social team that's text-based, right? We are commenting on text-based posts on social for uh, comments or you know somebody else comments on there and we comment back and it's all text-based. But they get to know them? No, not at all. Every one of these individuals, um, Alicia I haven't known, known very much, hey, just joined us as well. Um, I know I can tell a story about each and every one of those individuals in, in the Hangout and I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. Why? You are in a room with somebody, you're looking at their background, you are looking at um, their, maybe you have a question about where they got the pin on their jacket. What's that picture behind you? What's that fish behind you? Um, why are you hanging out from the mountain? Because you can do mobile hangouts as well. Um, all of these are, are ways of having a deeper level of engagement with your audience. Um, I mentioned that Hangouts are now enabled for mobile. You can do this from your mobile phone. Okay? If we have any journalists in the room, live tweeting is yesterday. In the coming year, what you will be seeing is people walking through riots, breaking news events with their mobile phone and live hanging. They've got a Hangout on their phone and people are on their phone either asking them questions about what they're seeing um, or contributing information from that, that riot. Um, so no longer is it just singular live reports, it's group live reports powered via a, a powerful uh, crowdsourcing tool um, via Hangouts. So that's a trend that we will see. In this. But definitely for business, what, what we'll see um, is people developing what I and others at Google uh, call full front porches. 
It's a face-to-face -face virtual front porch. Uh, United, we have a Hangouts team, okay? So our virtual front porch is open every single day at 4 o'clock for no other reason than for people to come up, cozy up to our virtual front porch via Hangouts, so the projects that they're working on, listening to what they're doing. And why is that important? Because you want a closer relationship with your customers. And not only do you want a closer relationship, um, all of the individuals who join your Hangouts also have social platforms with which to share your content, correct? Because no longer are we uh, disseminating information one to many, right? Those days are gone. One to many is gone. We are disseminating information now one to few, and then those few people share and share and share. So a platform like this is really tailor-made ever because you have the ability to share with, with a small group of people, uh, nine other people plus the host in this instance, and then those people share and share and share. If you hover over the thumbnails, you can see you have the ability to mute their video, you have the ability to mute their mic, and then if you don't like them, you have, do have the ability to eject them, but um, we like everybody who's in here. Uh, Barbara Steinberg, hello Barbara, she just joined. Um, so that's a little bit about the platform of Google Plus Hangouts. I would encourage you all to do a few different things. Um, number one, to get a because in the future, um, as all of you young entrepreneurs, if you are starting up your own, uh, and not only do you want a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo, you want a Google Plus account because you want the ability, you want to have, who doesn't want a free broadcast stick? I mean, who would not want a free broadcast station in their pocket, really, right? Because you have the ability um, to hang out on your mobile phone. So I would encourage all of you to get your account. Definitely connect um, with me and with others who are using this platform a lot and the face to face virtual front porches. I hang out every day at four and I would love to be talking about and giving it before, really, to what you all are working on. I find that highly fascinating. Um, if you would email me, my email. It's easy to remember. It's Sarah with an H, Sarah.hill at veteransu.com. And when you email me if you Google Plus profile, that way I have the ability to add you to my circles. Um, one of the things with Hangouts is you, and because we were using Hangouts a lot on TV, um, we needed to have a group of people in the Hangouts um, who were what I called approved, right? that they would be respectful and wouldn't say um, a curse word or something on air. So because it is streaming on YouTube, make sure that I know everybody who's joining it. I would love it if you would email me ahead of time and that and my notifications go so fast that I don't have the ability to keep up with, with any one person who adds me. So please let me know um, and, and email me a link to your profile so that we have the ability. We have two million so any of you all who have, you know, startup uh, groups, definitely Mid-Missouri, we are one And um, we, we all have the ability to connect face-to-face, -face, and I definitely want to connect face-to-face -face with you all and hang out. Veterans United also has a Google Plus. A lot of our events are happening on. So if you go to the Google Plus and just search Veterans United, plus one, the page underneath our picture, that says, us that you all are interested in, in connecting with us um, and then also add us to your circles on a business page business people unless they add them first it's an anti-spamming policy by Google um, so we can't even contact you on a business page unless you add us first or request us first so I'd encourage you all hi and just join as well he is from the Dallas mobile app. Hey guys. Questions about, about human media, the new emerging platform of human media um, that hopefully in a year all businesses are going to know the importance of having a virtual front porch. Yes. Be at a hangout. It's nine plus the host. Nine plus on YouTube. You can have a private hangout if you'd like, um, and click the start broadcast. 
a Hangout on Air has the ability to be broadcast on YouTube. So for private conversations face-to-face, -face, kind of better because it happens in the middle of the social network. It happens in a crowdsourcing tool. You would, how many of you guys address, right? I don't, you know. This, all their addresses where, where you can find them. That, you have and not only that, you have to add them into your circle of photographers, um, of journalists, of, of human media um, interest groups, and all of those types of things. So, um, way more powerful than Skype. Questions? Can you do like a presentation? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And create a lower third um, graphic which to um, put up your your information um, which is un underneath it it comes in with your your title and you have to put your website up there I am John Smith and this is my website this is my company that I'm any hangout that you join for the world to know when you want, um, that what is the name of your company and and your website a huge billboard you can put on underneath there. You have the effects, you have the ability to screen share. Okay, so you had a document on your computer, um, you would have the ability to do that. Um, all kinds of things you can put on there, icons that you can put on, and sound effects. Um, there's a cameraman app where you can cast. Uh, white out people so that nobody on YouTube sees them until you want to bring them in. I mean, it's, it's technology and how it really is a station um, for businesses in that respect. Yes? Okay, so we're seeing that we have a slow Okay, so other people in the hangout, are they have a better connection? Are they seeing this much more smoothly? Yes, um, it does not have to do with your webcam. The quality of your web webcam is not as important as the strength of your internet connection. Obviously, a corded um, internet connection is best. Um, Wi-Fi works as well. There is a setting on here that I could click if I wanted to, um, but I won't uh, just because we have individuals here. But it's especially for slow internet connections. Um, so if you clicked that speed, um, you would see things clearer, and there wouldn't be a wouldn't be a big effect. Yes. And Tiny Chat. You know, I'm not familiar with that. I've heard of um, Nimble. It also pronounced Nimble. There's also Uvu and Spreecast um, and Airtime. Um, Tiny Chat. Well, number one. Tiny Chat probably isn't in the middle of a crowdsourcing tool, a powerful crowdsourcing tool where you have the ability to find um, a broadcast on YouTube. Does it? Okay, well, broadcast um, to Twitter, which isn't necessarily a video dest destination. Um, you have the ability to share this hanging on Twitter as well. Um, you have the ability to, to share it on, on Facebook. You can cross-pollinate across all of your, your social platforms. Um, but that's what makes it unique, is that not only does it happen in a crowdsourcing tool, but it happens on one of the largest broadcast sticks in the world, right? YouTube is pretty amazing. It used to be on YouTube that you needed special in order to go live on YouTube. You needed to be a live partner for YouTube. That's all been blown away, and via Hangouts, you have the ability to go share a message with them. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much. Um, again, uh, please email me. Let me know your Google Plus um, address so we can stay connected because I would like to interact with all of you face to face. So, good to see some of you faces. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so are eight different countries that I found into this room here in Jefferson City. <laughs> Hello, world. While she's uh, transitioning here, um, 
I know that the food is spoken for itself. I know that the venue is spoken for itself. But to me